Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn the top 10 best settings of Gmail, which is from the confidential mode of sending an email to signatures and smart compose maximization. There's a lot to cover in this video. So keep with this video because after watching this video, your work life uh, on Gmail would be a lot much easier. So let's go. First of all, we'll move on to the confidential mode of sending an email. What does that mean? Uh, first, we'll go to compose, click on compose, and in here, you send an email to tigesiscolling at gmail.com, and you write anything you want to say, good, whatever you want to write, and in here, you can see an option called turn confidential mode on or off. As you click on it, uh, you will see the confidential mode. In here, you can select the expiry date of this email. Uh, that one means uh, this, uh, this confident, this email will be deleted after a certain period of time and for example you go it for expires in one day two day one week one month three years uh, i'll keep it for one month and in here uh, you can say send them no sms passcode uh, which means uh, there will be no uh, passcode that won't be sent through the sms to them or uh, there will be sms passcode which means when you send them an email uh, they have to verify through their uh, they will receive uh, the password on their phone number and that way it will be easy for them to you know uh, kind of uh, get access to the uh, email so you can you're going to click the save button then that way this uh, this uh, what, what I can say email is uh, you know password based as you send them you send them it will go to them and in here you write a phone number uh, a phone number is required so recipient can verify their identity using an sms passcode which means you will be sending uh, you will be writing the phone number of that person uh, who ha who is using a certain phone number so when you write their number whenever they receive that email they uh, they will write their phone number and that that way they will receive a code and they are going to put that code in that into that email and then they are going to access that email so this is a wonderful option for a lot of people and this uh, this setting can also help you uh, because the, the recipient won't have the options to forward copy print or download this email so this is also a great feature that is in the gmail you might have never seen so we click on send and that way we're going to send it the second setting is your signature so a lot of people who work on gmail but if you are going to work professionally make sure you have a certain signature for what i mean by signature for example if i'm say, sending any email on anyone if i write anything down there and in here you can see an option called insert signature so we click on insert signature I have created a signature on uh, the, the name of Tigs. So when I click on the Tigs signature, uh, there will be this signature with a little bit picture on it, uh, which is not appearing here because of the uh, low loading. But that there will be a picture right down here, and that way, that's my signature. Uh, that will be, you know, whenever I send an email to anybody, that signature will appear, appear down below, and that will show that I'm a uh, respected or uh, reputed, uh, you know, uh, company or whatever you can call me. So how you can insert your email, uh, you know, uh, put a signature into your email. So for that, all you have to do is go to the setting right down there, up there, up upper on upper right corner click on the setting button and click on see all settings so as we are inside the settings I'll go I scroll down and in the last section you will find this action called signature so we have the tagged signature if you want to create a new signature click on create new that way you're going to give certain name any name you want to give uh, to the signature and in here write the signature add your picture you know make it fancy whatever you want uh, just create your signature and whenever you write an email just put uh, put in there the signature and that way you're going to send it with this style so the third uh, third setting that is really important that is this is the maximum page size so this is the, the maximum page size option so what does that mean that you are going to see the maximum number of emails that you want to see some people make it 10 some people make it uh, the 15 20 20 what does that mean that what uh, the number of email that you're going to see on the page of your email which means how much email you want to see on your first page so this is the option for that you want to select anyone but I think 50 is the standard but some people go with the 25 because they want to reduce the cluster so you can go for 100 if you are if you are really you know productive go for 100 whatever you want but this is a cool setting you can you know even change it 
the uh, another setting is you are going to see the undo behavior so this is the called undo behavior so what does that i mean by the undo behavior is uh is something when you send an email to anybody so you uh, in general we have five seconds to undo it you can even you know 10 second 20 second 30 second uh you can put it 30 second max so what does that mean uh, if i'm composing any email to for example this one uh, and i'm saying that you sound shit so I don't I don't want to say this to anybody, but if I'm s telling them that they sound shit and I send them, oh my god, I made a mistake. So for if you haven't set it at five seconds, it will go away in five seconds. So like uh, I didn't save it, so it was five seconds. So this message has been sent. So I'm in a big trouble. But if I make it thirty seconds and I save that settings, and that will stay for thirty seconds. So in thirty seconds, I will make up my mind like oh I shouldn't have sent it. So I'll click on undo settings and which have just disappeared because this was up five seconds and I can undo settings and that way I can be a good person protective. All right. So the fourth, the other option is going to be the smart compose. So what I mean by the smart compose is uh, uh, this for, uh, to see the smart compose option is this one smart compose, which means when you are writing an email. Uh, you, you should on it because when you're writing an email it gives you suggestion like well, when you write how are you so when you write how it gives you alternatively it gives you an option of r and u that way when you click a space automatically are you are written so this is a smart compose this is another setting you want and smart compose personalization which means uh, you should also on it because it will see how you write email you know a lot of times so it will copy your patterns of writing and whenever you write an email or anything for example if I'm writing hey uh, on every email if I'm writing uh, like uh, hey how are you what are you doing so in any any time I write hey automatically it will give me a suggestion of hi how are you uh, what are you doing so this is how the personalization works the smart compose personalization you should also own it if you are good uh, with it so these are the uh, you know most important settings you should do but the new settings that has been launched by gmail most people don't know about it is these one uh, so for that all you have to do go to this option called settings and in here you uh, the google has uploaded four main things the four main features that you have not seen before first of all we'll cover this one so we are currently seeing this as a default you can see there are kind of tiny bit gaps in and it's showing that we uh, somebody sent you a file or what and that was a standard view that is a default view but you can make it more comfortable by clicking on this second option the comfortable view uh, which on which is easy to see uh, many emails together and the file attachment can be seen on the uh, on the right side down here here. you can see the file attachments you can uh, see it easily on the other hand you can even click the compact option that will uh, compact many messages together so on one page you can see uh, approximately 100 email together but in the other video we'll also tell you how you can maximize the email on the first page so we'll move on to the second option called view themes so this is the main theme that is being used uh, we're currently using we can even change it so uh, Google has launched amazing themes like uh, currently we're using the default theme you can see more themes option in here for example if I go uh, with the black theme and we'll click it and see wow this is so amazing and this is comfortable for my eyes comparatively using the older theme this is the second option you can change the uh, color of your uh, you know whole gmail account your whole theme account you can even change it to this uh, ideal building colors even though you know you can make it much better but i'll stay on the dark for this time and again we'll move on to the uh this option called inbox type so in here uh first we are on the default manager in here the inbox is simple but i think uh, i would click on the important email first this looks more important because this was missing we all wanted it we all wanted to uh, you know answer the important emails first for this is the best option click on important first and that way you look at this all the important email are on the first page and if you want to keep the unread on first the stared at first the priority inbox whatever uh, an option that is going to suit your 
you know category you think that this is going to suit my category for replying the email you're gonna select that one even the multiple inboxes you can even click on multiple inboxes in here you can see the drafts the inbox and all that and here we move again uh, keeping everything at default and we'll move down to the third option that is reading pan so in the reading pan uh, normally we have the no split which means there is no split between the uh, email and the reading page so even if i can uh, click on the right of inbox so we can see how much storage is left so you can see you are currently using 0.21 gb and all that on the right side it will tell you how much you have used and since when you have logged in last time every detail even I mean, you can put it uh, on the below side on the lower side you can see it in here you can select anyone but i think in this option the no split would be better and these are the uh, coming and just launched by gmail account especially the theme thing we all have been waiting for we have seen it, it in twitter we have seen it in google we have seen it everywhere the theme changer but this is uh, a, a important change we all wanted and we always wanted it if you think we have helped you in this video make sure to leave us a comment and and what you think that gmail account uh, you know something new they should add in gmail account leave in the comment box below and we'll see you in another video keep visiting tigs schooling